Since September 11th, they've become America's heroes. Firefighters have captivated our imaginations. Well, now we have been given unprecedented access to some of those firefighters right here in Phoenix. Mike Watkins is live tonight at Firehouse 8 for the first part of this month-long look at their lives. Mike? Yeah, Patty, we're very excited about introducing this series of stories and welcoming you to our new home for the next month, Phoenix Firehouse Number 8, the Big 8 Ball. And why are we here? Well, last September 11th, America came to the realization that there are heroes among us each and every day. When I was about eight years old and I watched my dad disappear in smoke, he's a firefighter as well. That's about the time I knew this is something I wanted to do. We advise we have a report of a mayday, man down, running out of low on air. Give me a dirt alarm, please. It is perhaps a matter of national shame that it took an event of almost unparalleled horror last September to remind us all that there are heroes among us each and every day. Uh, my name is Tom Henry. I'm Phoenix Fire Captain on Engine 8. Joaquin Torres. Uh, I've been with Phoenix Fire about a year and a half now. Ryan Demas. Troy Hill. Dave Morrissey. Chris Gerritsen. Mark Lima. Certainly no disputing in the aftermath of September 11th. One of the truly remarkable things that has occurred is that suddenly in this nation, there is a long overdue interest in and appreciation for the efforts of America's firefighters. After September 11th, uh, I think it makes a lot of us feel uncomfortable. We're not really used to people trying to put us up on a pedestal, you know. We're, we're regular people who get to do a neat kind of a job. And uh, this, when people come up to you and say, how does it feel to be a hero? Well, you know, I, I don't, what's a hero? The dictionary's definition, a person noted for courageous acts or nobility of purpose, especially one who risks or sacrifices his or her own life. Stated another way, they are the people who go marching in when all of the rest of us are fleeing for our lives out the door. Responding at one moment to a heart attack and the next to the heartbreak of a child drowning. Rescuing an injured hiker or going face to face with hell itself. They were on the front line when America was attacked and every day across this country, they stand at the ready at places like Phoenix Firehouse Number 8. Really good people. It's just such an awesome job. Everyone's caring. Everyone has a good time. 27-year-old Joaquin Torres comes from one of those firefighting families. His uncle and cousin are both Phoenix firefighters. Joaquin's an ex-Marine and a loving father of three little boys. Divorced. they got three kids. Uh, good, strong family. Big, big family. Three boys. Good boys. And family certainly on the mind these days of Firehouse 8 Captain Tom Henry. I'm 37 years old and I'm married with uh, three and a half children. Three Got eight. Your wife's about to have a baby, isn't <laughs> She's she? She's ready to have a baby in a couple of days now. Wow, how exciting. Uh, pretty excited. Tom and his wife Brenda this morning on their way to see the doctor, expecting their fourth child quite literally at any moment. I feel okay. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you're ready. I'm ready. Kind of takes a kind of a strong rancher's wife to be a, married to a fireman. Brian, Brian Demas. Oh. You have a visitor on the poop deck. He's working out. That's Brian's girlfriend. Twenty-eight-year-old firefighter Brian Demas comes from another firefighting family. His girlfriend Nicole stops by the station frequently to pay Brian a visit during one of his 24-hour shifts. How is it dating a firefighter? They're the good at society. They're out there to help people and. You know, they're always kind of happy and chipper, and they're doing good for the world. You like that? I think a lot of people do. Could you imagine yourself doing any other kind of work? No. no. Why? I don't have any talent. <laughs> <laughs> and veteran Dave Morrissey, the fun-loving rock of Gibraltar at Firehouse 8, a guy who loves playing hockey almost as much as fighting flames. Yeah, I wasn't good enough to play for the Coyotes, so <laughs> it all came are. down to this. 
And what it comes down to for us in coming days, an unprecedented look at the lives of a group of ordinary men doing an extraordinary job. Fathers and husbands, brothers and sons, regular guys who continue to remind us that there are heroes among us each and every day. You come back to us live here at Firehouse Number 8, and each and every day we're going to be following those guys from the sea shift here at Firehouse Number 8. It's really an unprecedented, extraordinary look at these heroes on the job, at home. Their families are going to play, uh, so it's really going to be an exciting thing. Patty, you heard we already have a, a pregnancy. There has been some news on that front. We're going to track these guys' lives. We think that people are really going to get a, an exposure to who these heroes are.